Yeah, well, I'm very pleased uh, with him over the last couple of months. Um, he had a good spring, um, had three runs, which we didn't get into him last year, and he's had a nice winter break and now uh, getting ready for the spring festivals. Yeah, and what? Uh, how do you see the the race going? You know, at Cheltenham, what sort of uh, what do what do you reckon will unfold? Um, he's in the um, champion chase as well as the Ryanair. <laughs> it, I mean, last year he obviously he ran the champion chase and then won the gr two Grade Ones at Aintree and Punchestown after it. Probably we ought to stay the same route, but we are still in the Ryanair, so we've just got to keep our options open. Yeah. And would the ground make any difference to which one you went to? It's, it's a bit sort of obviously he wants it to dry up, so. Uh... Yeah, actually, the, a lot of people think it's you know it's, um, the ground whether he runs over two miles or two miles five, no matter what the distance is, he likes good ground. Yeah. He'll get two five on good ground, he'll get two miles on good ground. Um, if it's soft ground, doesn't matter, dropping back and trip, that doesn't work either. It's just, you just hope for a dry period. Good, good, good. And um, obviously, high in the betting is single farm payment. Um, so what's the latest on him and is he going to Cheltenham? Yeah, he's had a good preparation. Well, it didn't start off an ideal preparation. I've been brought down here in his last run. He won very impressively the time before. Um, he's had a nice break and we're just stepping it all up again and he's got the entries and the handicaps as well as the RSA. And moment, would you be leaning RSA, do you think? Or I know Tom Seagal's I was trying to point you that way, but you say he's got a, a good handicap mark. So He has, he's got a great handicap mark. Um, difficult call at the moment. I think we've just got to wait a bit longer and make our decision nearer the time. But um, he's an exciting young horse. I'm sure he is well handicapped. But I think he'd feature with the better ones off level weights as well. Good, good, good. And just moving on to the, the, the handicaps, what else have you hoping to bring along for, for, for Cheltenham? And I know, is your son going to have a ride as well? Is that the hope yeah, for that? Yeah, the um, Kim Muir, I think we've got five in there, and they'll probably all get a run in it. Um, Noel, my son's put his name forward for Forgotten Gold, who's been a good servant to us over the years. He's raised 142 or so. Um, so he'd be near the top of the handicap, and um, he goes very well fresh, and he likes Cheltenham as well. So he, but he'd like good ground. And we've got what's happening. We've got quite a few in all the handicaps chases. And just at Cheltenham, what would you reckon would be your best chance through the four days? It's hard to know. There are there's five or six who are sort of going over serious chances. Just if one could go in, that'd be great. Good.